Hello Boston Media House graduates. I know you may not feel like it, but you are indeed the chosen class for such a time as this, the graduating class of 2019. You're also united class, the pandemic class that has the entire world striving to graduate with you. Of course, this is not the graduation ceremony you've envisioned. You've been dreaming about the walk across the stage, your family and friends cheering you on. But even though there may not be the pomp because of our circumstances, never has a graduating class been called to step into the future with more purpose, vision, passion, energy and hope. I couldn't be prouder of all of you in the graduating class of 2019, as well as the lecturers, the Boston Media House staff, and most of all, parents and family who guided you along the way. Now, graduating is a big achievement under any circumstances. Some of you had to overcome serious obstacles along the way, whether it was an illness or a parent losing a job or living in a neighborhood where the entire community counted you out. Now, I'll be honest with you, the disappointments of missing live graduation, those will pass pretty quickly and you'll have plenty of time to catch up with family and friends once the immediate public health crisis is over. Please share with us on our social media platforms when you and your family and friends celebrate your graduation success. But what remains true is that your graduation marks your passing into adulthood. I'll leave you with three quick pieces of advice. First, don't be afraid. This time of uncertainty provides great opportunities if you can see it, grab it and work for it. History has shown us that out of the darkest times come some of the biggest success stories. The post-World War II economic expansion, also known as the golden age of capitalism, was a broad economic expansion. Second, walk your own walk. Walking your own journey requires you to put a lot into consideration. It does not come as easily as you may assume. This is the time when you begin to take charge of your own life. It is when you get to decide what's important to you, the kind of career you want to pursue, who you want to build a family with, and the values you want to live by. It is a journey of becoming the best version of yourself, and you can only achieve this by living in your own skin. And finally, build a community. No one does big things by themselves. Right now, when people are scared, it's easy to be cynical and say, let me just look out for myself or my family or people who look or think or pray like me. But if we're going to get through these difficult times, if we're going to create a world where everybody has the opportunities to find a job, if we're going to save the environment and defeat future pandemics, then we're going to have to do it together. And I hope that you will harness your education your creativity, your valor, your voice, and your vote. Reflecting on all that you've witnessed, hungered for, all that you know to be true, and use it to create more equity, more justice, and more joy in the world. To be the class that commenced a new way forward, the class of 2019. We are here, physically apart, but gathered together as an institution to mark the extraordinariness of this moment in history. So on behalf of the directors and the academic board, I undertake the sacred charge to graduate you, our valued students in absentia. In place of a physical graduation ceremony, with this letter and message as the academic coordinator, I formally graduate you with all the honors, rights and privileges accompanied herewith. I do hereby release your degree, diploma and transcripts. Congratulations.